Hi, my name is Sir Waish. Before starting, firstly let's talk about how some websites use cool 3D object in their design. But creating this object in HTML CSS can be a tedious task, so they are embedded into website from 3D modeling software. So today I will show you how to create such elements and embed them into a web page. Just a small case study, look how good this 3D elements looks in this website, we will try to make the same. So firstly, let's try to make a quick 3D model in Spline, this is a web-based 3D modeling tool. Let's try to make a simple glass blob that transforms its shape. I will have to speed up the video here, but you can slow down the video to know the making process of glass blob in Spline, or comment below, I will surely make a video dedicated to Spline modeling. Now the blob is ready with variable states, let's add transition to the states and see the results. I will tweak the basic settings, then play the render using the play button on top menu. Here is the render, now the blob can be seen changing its shape from a perfect spear to a distorted spear, and then it comes back to its base shape, this transition is set for infinite loop with time duration of 5 seconds. Now let's embed this design into a web page. For this, click on the export button on the menu bar, then select viewer from the menu on the left. Then click on the copy embed button. This will copy the embed code that we will paste in our code. Here is a simple HTML file that I have created, in this we will paste our embed code we copied from Spline. Copy the embed code inside body tag, then save the changes and run the file. After running the file this is the output web page, 3D model will load in the web page with the render that we made in Spline. We can change the background color of the web page to match the background color of our spline design. For this I have added a style tag to the code and added background color to the body with same color code as a background color of spline design. To compensate for the black background color, I have changed the text color to a white accent, now let's run this code and see the changes. Here is the web page. We can change the design of our page to make the page look more attractive. This design is interactive in web page. We can change settings in spline to add more interactions to design. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Give this video a like, share with others, and comment down below.